Um, we have 43 cubic centimeters of flow through the soil sample in a time of three minutes. So calculate the permeability. Again, constant head permeability test is key to note here. <clears throat> Remember, most of these things, you just flag these equations and highlight them, the ones that you're going to need. This is what we need. K is equal to QL divided by HAT. Right? That's our equation for permeability for a constant head permeability test. So say K is equal to Q times L divided by H times A times T time. All right, so what do we have here? What was given to us? <clears throat> 43 cubic centimeters, Q, volume of water was given. L is the length of the soil sample, 15 centimeters that was given. H is actually the, the head differential. <coughs> Excuse me. And remember, this is where the, the problem will trick you up, where people say, well, is, is this H or is that H? Well, neither one. Remember, H is the difference between this little symbol and then that little symbol. Right? It's the height of water that's actually applying head or pressure on the soil sample. Right? So H is actually equal to 8 plus 15, or 23. That would be H. A is the cross-sectional area of the soil sample. So it was sort of given. Right? We were given diameter. I'll have to calculate that. And then T, time, is given in three minutes. And just keep in mind, it's asking us to solve in terms of seconds, but we can convert that. Um, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that now. So T is equal to three minutes times 60 seconds per one minute. Again, sorry for my sloppy handwriting. That's 180 seconds. Um, A we'll need to calculate to get cross sectional area. So area of a circle, and that's pi d squared over 4, right? So that's pi times 7.5 centimeters squared divided by 4. See. Again, somebody check my math here because I don't have my solutions handy. 44.2 centimeters squared. So now we can just plug everything we've calculated back into the equation for K. So K is 43 centimeters cubed. It's the volume. I'll just try and box this out here so we don't get confused. Times L, which is 15 centimeters divided by H, which is 23 centimeters. Remember, it's 15 plus 8. Let's just write that out explicitly. Times area, which is 44.2 centimeters squared, times time, which is 180 seconds. Somebody want to give me their answer first? Everybody's fading after a long day. About 0 0.0035 centimeters per second. Anybody else get that number? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's going to be closest to answer choice C. 